It's Michael again. Uh, thanks for your time today. And today I'm going to be going through uh, task management and workflow with intervals. And uh, there's there's a lot in this particular video. So if you ever have any questions uh, about the best way to use intervals for your workflow, or if you're just getting started out and wondering how things work, uh, as always, please f feel free to contact our support team at support at myintervals.com. We're always here to help. So uh, let's dive in. So uh, tasks uh, within intervals, the, the three most common ways people or common areas people tend to work on tasks is the homepage calendar. It'll have all of the tasks there. By default, the view, uh, the filter on the right here, is set to show tasks that are assigned to you. But if you happen to be a manager type person, um, you can change the filter to view all the tasks for a particular, for a particular project, all tasks assigned to a certain person. Um, you can really get advanced with your filters, uh, depending on your workflow. And then also, you can save those filters so that you can quickly retrieve that view. That's also true on the task listing page. So uh, here, um, you can view your tasks. You can right-click update tasks. You can drag and drop reschedule tasks. Uh, the second most common place to work on tasks is the actual task listing itself. And so here I'm viewing tasks for a particular project. Uh, I click to sort by due date. You can click to sort by, pri by priority, assignee. Uh, if you do the widescreen view, um, you can actually view by start date. So um, as I mentioned, this lesson has a lot in it. So that's some of the advanced functionality. Uh, and then the third most common way to view task assignments is every morning at 8 a.m. each user uh, that is assigned tasks will get a, 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 a task assignment email. And that email shows the tasks that are due for the particular week and then also any overdue tasks. So it's kind of a reminder that, hey, here's your task for the particular week. Uh, so those are the most common ways to view tasks. Uh, when working with a task, if I dive into this uh, already created task, uh, tasks have a, a, a title summary. You assign them to a client and a project. Uh, and then also a module. A module is a bucket, so it's used for management to track those tasks and to run filters and then also to run time reports. Uh, this particular task is associated with a milestone. You don't have to use milestones, but if you have a multitask deliverable and you want to put a bunch of tasks onto that milestone, you can do that. And here's an example of that. And then uh, priority, status, and assignees. And so all of these fields that I mentioned so far can be customized to match your workflow. So you can create your own statuses, your own priorities. Um, and uh, it's helpful to mention that intervals uh, comes from a ticketing system and workflow background. So um, if you're expecting simple to-dos, um, that's not what intervals is about. Intervals is, is, is built to have a task go through a lifespan. So a lot of times, a task will change status multiple times. Um, so maybe it starts out as open, and then somebody works on it. They set it to verify and close is a very common uh, status. Then whoever uh, created the task comes in behind that task. They review the work that was done. They reopen it. And so um, there's a lot of power in the way to customize the workflow based on your particular workflow to have a task um, live from beginning to end. And with intervals, one of the things that makes intervals really unique is that time tracking is fully integrated with the task management. So it's not like you track your time separate from doing working on your task. So you, you view a task, you start a timer, you do your work, you're done, and then you apply the timer. And uh, you can get a lot of uh, meaningful information about the work that went into that task. Uh, just to show you a quick example um, of, of how a workflow would work. So this task, it's assigned to Charles Resource. Um, I'm going to actually play the part of Charles Resource instead of logging in as a different user. But say Charles worked on this task. He's done with it. He sets it to verify and close or thinks he's done with it. with intervals, whenever a task is updated, uh, the owners, the assignees, and the followers all receive an email notification. Uh, and also, intervals includes email integration. So when you get that email, you can click on it to bring you back in intervals to see the work that was done uh, or make a comment on the task. Or you can just reply to the email. Um, you can upload documents and document versions. So you can do versioning control. Uh, you see all the time that was associated with the task. You also have out here in the history tab, you can view the whole history. So this is kind of like the top level view to view um, all comments, um, all documents, and all time. If you're somebody that needs to keep a, a good audit trail on your tasks, which a lot of our customers do, uh, each action is recorded here. And you can hide those actions. But it'll show you uh, who did what and when. Um, so if you have compliance needs or need a lot of granularity, that's there. Or if you don't want to look at it, you can go ahead and hide it. Uh, to view tasks. Um, for one particular project, you can do that uh, from the, the task listing and filter. 
uh, for that particular project, or in the project section here on the listing, there's quick links here to view all of the tasks for a project. And then if you're within a project itself, here in the left-hand column, there's an option to, to view tasks. So if you come into a project, click tasks, it'll take you back to the task listing with all the tasks uh, for that particular project. Um, also, if you want to create multiple tasks, uh, instead of creating tasks one at a time for a particular project, there's a link here to do that as well. So you can create multiple tasks. Uh, also, it is here as well, create multiple tasks. Uh, one other um, kind of advanced note, uh, I mentioned email integration so you can email tasks directly. There's also uh, a work request queue here, um, out here in task work request queue. And so you can have your customers uh, email requests that get filtered and then assigned to projects and prioritized, or you can append them to existing tasks. And so it's a way to, uh, I guess I mentioned, you know, intervals kind of comes from that workflow ticketing system background. So you can have uh, emails get queued and then assigned to existing tasks or create new tasks. But um, yeah, that's uh, an introduction to tasks and task management. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. And as I mentioned, uh, there's a lot to cover here. Went through it really, really quickly. If you have any questions, just contact our support team, support at myintervals.com. Thanks for your time.